Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. What's up? Welcome to Soul Vibin. Back with another tarot card reading here for you. This is going to be your Scorpio season tarot card reading. So we're going to see what endings are here and what new blessings are coming your way. Okay, so this is going to be a very important reading, especially when it comes to your growth and your blessings. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, then just stay here. <laughs> But um, let's go ahead and tap into the endings in your life. Okay, I have already pulled out some cards. I will be pulling out um, tarot and more oracle cards as well towards the end. But this is what's ending in your life. I got two for what's ending for you and then two for the blessings to come. So let's see. Well, actually, I'm just going to take all of them like this. So let's see what's ending in your life. So what's ending in your life is void, of course, moon, missing. Okay. Blessings coming your way is, wow, grand trine blessings. So three blessings is what I'm seeing this as, okay? For some of you, this is just one blessing. For some of you, this is millions and thousands of blessings. But for now, let's keep it short and simple. We're going to figure out what this is about. But um, let's see. Aries, I am, wow. So confidence, right? Confidence and all about you. So, and first house, the body. Okay, this is really nice, Sagittarius. What I'm seeing here for you is that with the void of course moon, maybe you've been going through a period of time where there's been broken promises made to you. Um, where maybe things, have, things haven't been working out the way you expected them to and you've been making mistakes maybe for some of you um, and things haven't worked out the way you planned them to, right? This is all about things being almost unreal, right? Fake people around you, fake friends around you maybe or maybe even you just feeling just not like yourself. Um, I do feel like the blessings coming your way have to do with being surrounded with people who are more on your level, who maybe support you from a real point of view, who can keep their promises. Um, and then for others of you, this is a feeling like yourself, feeling like you can express yourself in a healthy manner, right? Feeling like you can be yourself in all aspects, um, you know? And feeling like you don't need to wear that mask anymore. So I do feel like the blessings coming your way have to do with you and the way you present yourself, the way you put yourself out there and the way you express yourself. This is a really beautiful blessing to receive because not a lot of people um, can do this, Sagittarius. Not a lot of people can just be themselves and say, you know what, today I am not going to do this because my soul, my body, and I just don't feel like it, right? So you're going to be standing in your power a lot more. So this is really, really beautiful. Um, if, if there has been a cancellation of something around you, like a wedding or something like that, then it was just meant to be because it's just not time yet. That's something that came up as well if I was reading through the little book. But, um, oh, wow. For some of you, this is a very intense time. It feels like a storm. And if that is the case, just know that there's going to be that rainbow that comes out of this situation. So we're going to take a look at you. So here we get Capricorn. Again, this is restrictions. You being restricted, it's almost like you were being put in a cave. I can see this as you being in jail spiritually as well. Um, or like this is like the devil energy, right? Capricorn, where you're chained to, um, basically you're chained to your fear. You're chained to self-sabotage. You're chained to things that are no longer serving you and for it to come up in the reading, this is really powerful because you're starting to be aware of them. So you're getting the ambition to be realistic, okay? Um, the ambition to take the steps that you need to take in order for you to, boom, feel more like yourself. This is really beautiful, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and I can't wait to get into the tarot readings too, but these are the two are the two cards that came up for you in this, this one. You feeling restricted and then you being more optimistic, you know, feeling a lot more free, feeling like you can do a lot more. Okay, this can be you just simply having more time for yourself, like spending more time alone and stuff like that. But let's see what other two we have for you here. So here we get express gratitude, right? Appreciate present blessings in order to attract more blessings as well. And then you get a new beginning. This is really beautiful. I have the courage to open a new door. So use that mantra in the beginning of the day is what I'm getting. And then I just saw number 455. 
Because I may be very synchronistic to you. All right. Let's go ahead and get started with your tarot cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is Sagittarius going through at the moment? Where are they headed? And what blessings are coming their way during Scorpio season and through to the end of the year? There you are. So if you have been dealing with some sense of drama or other people who just aren't aligned with you anymore, you know, I do feel like you're going to start to see oh, people who are going to start supporting you. Okay, maybe that's what you want and maybe that is what you're manifesting. Maybe that is what you're asking your angels um, to help you. Uh, to help you with, you know, to help you find a, a group of people who are just more supportive of you and who love you for who you truly are, right? Who don't try to change you. So let's see. So here we get a beautiful wish come true. This is your opportunity, okay, Sagittarius? So take this opportunity. Do not turn it down is what I'm getting because right now is a really powerful time to work with the energy and to put yourself first and to stay focused on yourself where... Things around you may be chaotic. Things around you may not be very clear. Um, you need to take advantage of this energy that, that we're all getting as a collective to move forward, okay? And don't try to um, make things work that haven't worked in the past. If things haven't worked for you in the past, like I said, it's for a reason. It doesn't have to be a wedding. It could be a relationship, so for some of you, maybe you're dealing with, with emotions, right? With your emotions, with, you know, things not working out. But you're being asked to just stay focused on what's in front of you. Basically, with the Ace of Pentacles here, this is about the present moment. And then this is you getting what you want. So what do you want right now? What is going to make you happy right now? And what kind of opportunity would you like to see in your life at this moment? Make sure you take some time in the present moment to enjoy and, and show gratitude to the universe so that this beginning and this new door can op open up for you. Because I do feel like it's here, but it's all a matter of fact of like kind of just turning around and, and looking at that opportunity, right? <laughs> So we can all get stuck in that five of cups energy where we feel depressed, where we feel like things haven't been working out the way we expected them to. But it's all about moving forward confidently and knowing that you're going to succeed, right? Because you have been through a lot, but this is you. This is the butterfly in the cocoon and you're taking hits left and right. But at the end of the day, they're all for your soul's growth. Yeah, they're all to help you. They're also you climb this mountain. The Three of Pentacles is a really powerful card. It's a card of abundance. It's a card of moving forward in the right direction and also acknowledging how far you have come because you have came a long way. I can clearly see that here. So for some of you, uh, the blessing coming your way is going to make you really, really happy, okay? I can see it and it's going to be a brand new chapter for you. It's almost like you're going to see things, boom, out of nowhere. Like you're going to, it's, it's going to hit you out of nowhere. I guess that's what I'm getting. Um, it is going to be like a wish come true. Um, and I do get a sense of stability coming through with this. Maybe this is a new job for some of you. Maybe this is getting the opportunity to work with someone that you've been wanting to work with. Um, who you see as maybe, um, maybe you put this person on a pedestal. Or maybe you just see, look up to this person. You're going to get the opportunity to work with them. So don't feel like you can't do it because you you can. You most definitely can. Uh, for some of you, maybe you're just going to have to make the offer. Um, or this offer just may come to you because the Ace of Pentacles is about spirit handing you um, an opportunity. And I did get back of the deck energy for my other cards is stability. So for some of you, if you've been dealing with a lot of um, mental um, health issues, headaches, or even just anxiety um, the Ten of Swords is mental health issues, though. I do feel like you're going to get a sense of stability that's going to come your way. A sense of grounding um, and a sense of pushing forward, knowing that you're going to get through. And this is about not letting your negative thoughts, not letting your negative thoughts get the best of you. So the blessing coming your way is spirit helping you to progress down your path. This is really nice. Let's see. This is about building your confidence as well. Let's get one more card here for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? 
I do feel like other people's words have affected you a lot. Like they've affected your self-confidence because back of the deck energy is uh, self-confidence, Leo, right? Loyalty, creativity. So I do feel like maybe other people's words, what they've said to you in the past, relationships that have hurt a lot, um, have affected you to a point where you felt like your self-worth wasn't good enough, right? And it's left you kind of in in a dark hole like you've you've kept working the, the thing about it is that you've kept pushing forward and that's what's pushing you out of this hole right you've kept moving forward no matter what people have said so that's why um spirit wants to work with you and spirit wants to help you and they are here to give you this this abundance because they've seen you work through the hard times and not give up Right, that's what the Eight of Pentacles is about. It's about learning and um, redefining your skills and becoming better and better, regardless of what the what the naysayers, um, the haters, or anybody has said to you. So, this is really beautiful, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead, and I do feel like you've spent just a lot of time alone too. So you're gonna get a new opportunity. Okay, like I said, this is going to be a job opportunity or this is just spirit working with you, whatever it is. It's a new door. It's a new beginning. So take this opportunity. Take advantage. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Advice for Sagittarius, please. Yep. So your advice is keep going and stay in the flow and take advantage of the blessing that's coming your way. All right. Um, let this time, let this energy, let let Jupiter work for you because Jupiter is going to give you a windfall of money and you can even see it already. And this is a windfall of blessings. I feel like you're going to see like a few things happening in your life. It can be little and they can be really big. It can be both. Right. Um, but you're going to start to see like a windfall of things happening um, in your favor. Like it can be, like I said, it can be little things, but still it's like the universe is asking for you to like appreciate these little things so you can get more and more and more of it. Okay. But I do feel like for some of you, this is something like a huge change happening for you, a really big change. Um, and this is basically things working out even better than you expected them to because you feel like they're not I, i'm getting like your feelings your emotions you feel like you, you may feel like in a dark place right this is depression but i'm getting that you're gonna get the support you need for others of you you need to seek that psychologist that psychiatrist if you feel like you need to um i've always been my own psychologist and my own psychiatrist and my own fucking everything right um because i've always been like kind of hesitant on going to other people why I don't know um when I was in high school I was I, I went through like depression and um I had a counselor then but besides that I kind of managed to get through things on my own and I wouldn't say that's the best thing or the best way um but I do feel like you can benefit from seeing someone um if if like a I'm I'm seeing a psychiatrist or a psychologist that you can benefit from Okay, Whew. for for what you've been through, because I do feel like you've been through a lot. I don't know what it is, um, but I can only kind of point you in the right direction and you're going to take what resonates, right? So this can even be like um, a marriage counselor as well for those of you that are married or something, because Capricorn is a card of commitment, right? Marriage or being tied down, I guess. Um, and I see two, a couple here, so I do feel like marriage or counseling can help your relationship. But I do feel like things are going to work out for the best for you, okay? So here's the Five of Pentacles. This, is a, this, is, this may be a really hard time for you at the moment, but you're going to get through just fine. All right, so let's go ahead and get one of these angel cards for you so I can end your reading there. So here we go. So these are in Spanish. Dolomite is the um, crystal you may want to work with. It says, um, permanecer firme en la propia fe. So this is about um, stay, having faith in yourself. The result that you expect depends in the way you 
um, maintain your mental. Um, so this is all about staying positive, right? And that's what this is. These are the negative thoughts that I see. Um, so if you manage to stay positive through your situation, then you're going to be receiving that help. Now, like I said, this can be spiritual. Um, and this can also be support from those around you. A friend, a coworker, the, the house three. I'm seeing this is house three. This is um, all about um, neighbors, a sister, a brother, siblings, right? Um, this is about collaborating, communicating, and stuff like that as well. So this is really beautiful, Sagittarius. I love this reading. The next one you get is, yeah, safe communication in relationships or in personal relationships. And it says clear communication and assertive communication and dialogues from heart to heart, right, can help comprehend and be comprehended. comprehended. So this is all about being um, open about how you feel and being open with your emotions and saying what you need to say instead of holding this back, right? Or communicating from a place of hate and anger. So that is all I have for the Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really wish you nothing but this beautiful windfall to come your way as soon as possible and for you to get out of anything um, that you may have been holding you back, right? So that's all I have. Bye for now.